you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting subscribing sharing and listening to all my presentations today the focus will be on peronaridine artesanate combination this will be under only one brand name that i know of and that is pyramus uses as an anti-malaria because it has activity against erythrocytic schism. Erythrocytic stage is when there are signs and symptoms of malaria, not the hepatic stage. If you want to have full picture of plasmodium life cycle, please kindly click on this very link. There is a full presentation on that. As anti-cancer, because it has anti-tumor activity, in Ebola, it decreases propagation. When it comes to COVID-19, currently undergoing trial for mild and moderate COVID-19 treatment. Pyramus testing and trials. Shimpong Pharmaceutical Company Limited listed the study done within July 2020 to April 2021. Phase two clinical trial to evaluate the efficacy and safety of pyramids in mind to moderate COVID-19 treatment was done. More places across the globe are currently testing. Even some are currently at phase two or three, you know, by, as part of the trials. Many times to Simpon Pharmaceutical Company Limited and the Gates family, that is Bill and Melinda Gates, who are funding these you know, testing or trials, which is their sources. Because by the time you know, all these results are out, it's likely this combination, pyramids, will likely be one of the leading drugs in the world. There's still more research anyways. That says more research is still underway. There's, there's another one testing and trials, but more research in Geneva, Switzerland, and CO South Korea, also in the Philippines, and some parts of Africa, and so many places across the globe. But already, European Union has approved this medication for malaria treatment. That was done on 24th of November, 2015. It is a combination medication that is pyronaridine with artesanate with synergistic effects, meaning the outcome of this combination will give us effects that is greater than each of these medications separately. Dosing. Pyronaridine 6 mg per kilogram and artesanate 2 mg per kilogram could be given. Also, pyronaridine 9 mg per kilogram and artesanate 3 mg per kilogram. If you notice this, 6 and 9, then 2 and 3, meaning pyronaridine is to artesanate ratio 3 to 1, respectively. So, pyronaridine 5 mg per kilogram and artesanate 4 mg per kilogram. If you give any of this, I'm going to give that once daily for 3 days. Magnesium of action. Here it works against erythrocytic schism, not against hepatic schism. Therefore, the hepatic stage could be handled with the assistance of Primacoin. It is effective against multidrug resistant plasmodium falciparum. That is a good news, right? And good for both young and old. Also helpful to deal with not only Plasmodium, but Babesia, Trypanosoma, Ebola, with or without COVID-19. It also has anti-tumor activity. Baronaridine has anti-tumor activity by acting as a DNA intercalating agent and can also inhibit DNA topoisomerase too. Then, they are both 
meaning the action here will lead to DNA damage and subsequent cell death. It can also inhibit hemozyon and blood polymerization of beta imatin. Toxic imatin will then build up in the parasite. Doing what? Killing them by so doing. Atazinate is a semi-synthetic derivative of atemisinin. Rapidly metabolized to an active metabolite called dihydroatomicinin. Atacinate and dihydroatomicinin contain an end peroxide bridge, and that is activated by hem ion binding resulting in oxidative stress. This will lead to inhibition of protein and nucleic acid synthesis. Then structural changes, then decrease in parasite growth and finally decrease in the parasite survival. Atacinate pyronaridine combination. Therefore, for uncomplicated plasmodium falciparum malaria, like I've said in a while ago, but it's not too much to repeat that it was against the erythrocytic schizon. So not against hepatic schizon. So you can't use it to prevent relapse. You need another agent. You can hire Prima Queen to do that for you. Effective against multidrug resistant plasmodium falciparum has a tubal activity, helpful in Ebola treatment, currently undergoing trial for mild and moderate COVID-19 treatment. Side effects that will include headache, abnormal high blood cell levels, anemia, increased platelets, Vomiting, abdominal pain, bradycardia, and increased liver enzymes. Contraindications, that is, when and where we can now use pyramas. When there is hypersensitivity to pyramas or any components of its formulation, we we'll take it off the table. In any pregnancy, we may not go for pyramas, but if there is risk you know, to the mother and the fetus and there's no any other suitable um, agents available, then you can take that risk of giving pyramids even in early pregnancy. In the face of severe liver disease, please no pyramids because on its own, it can cause hepatotoxicity. In severe kidney disease, no Pyramids. It is not meant for prophylactic uses, so not for prophylaxis. And this medication is not for the treatment of severe malaria. Finally, nobody is blowing the trumpet of this good drug yet. So I'll blow the trumpet a little bit right now. This is a future great drug. And I mean, why that? A lot of people will tolerate this medication, good tolerability. It is good in children, good in the old, works against the erythrocytic schizon. That is when you are going to have signs and symptoms of malaria, though you just need another friend like Prima Queen to deal with the hepatic schizon. If you are dealing with plasmodium oval and vivus to prevent relapse. Effective against multidrug resistant plasmodium falciparum. Oh boy, what else are you looking for? Multidrug resistant plasmodium falciparum. So if you have this, you are not going to have multidrug resistant plasmodium falciparum in your domain. Is that not it? Great. Good against plasmodium, Fabasia. Trypanosomiasis, Ebola, with or without COVID-19. And on top of that, the pyronaridine component has anti-tumor activity. Wow. With that, I've come to the end of this very presentation. Remember to share this. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And check my channel for more presentations. For almost two years, I've been doing this work, just trying to dish out you know, 
those medical related pieces of info that will be beneficial to human race. I appreciate it.